ASMK and I am here with another May I Scrap Lift You layout for you guys. Today I am lifting this gorgeous layout by Jennifer Rampert. I absolutely loved this layout and I could not wait to do it. Um, I have all of my pieces picked out and I apologize for the glares and everything. I am at a retreat recording this and I was a little gun shy at holding up my stuff and everybody making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just sharing with you guys that um, I have a few uh, metal leaves from my stash. I do not remember where I got them. I apologize. Um, I got them about two or three years ago from a scrapbook store in Arizona. I have some Stamparia chipboard, this um, origami paper that came from, uh, I want to say a kawaii, kawaii kit. I don't know, you guys. Um, I shared the kit a while ago. Um, I have this beautiful... Um, a tropical leaf. I think it's called a monstra leaf uh, or a monstera. I, I don't know, you guys. I am lost at those types of leaves. <clears throat> that is from a leaf collection that I came out with a while ago. So I did not use the Paige Evan leaf that um, that Jennifer used. I also have some cut aparts from 13, uh, 13 Arts. And then um, that blue sheet uh, was just to give me a color guide for all of my mixed media that I picked out. And then from these two stamp sets, which are actually stamp and die sets, I used some dies um, and went ahead and cut out the fronds. Um, and then the leafy bits, because I wanted two different sized um, leaves and things. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, start playing around with my leaf. And forgive my hair. <laughs> it's wrapped up in a towel drying. Um, and I just thought that I would be really quick. I had no idea my head was in the frame. So I apologize. So the first thing I started doing was taking Dilutions in London Blue and painting the edges because I was going to move in slowly with the paint. So that way I kept a white border or a white um, center to this leaf because I did not bring any white paint to this um, to this retreat at all. Also, too, uh, I don't like asking. I do not like asking um, to use other people's supplies. It is just my thing, you guys. So I went ahead and um, to move this along a little bit more, uh, I'm still working with the Dilutions um, from, uh, well, from Di, <laughs> Diana Reevely uh, in London Blue. And now I am bringing in some um, chipped sapphire by uh, some distress stain. And then I very briefly brought in this uh, Dina Wakely uh, blue, and I can't remember the name of the blue, and I did not like it. It was more of a periwinkle purple. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take some of the shimmers, which is sapphire, um, and, and try to fix my blue. I don't want that periwinkle, but I don't mind um, a shade of it somewhere. So uh, obviously I've lost my white. I'm okay with that, but my my whole entire leaf is totally soaking wet. Uh, absolutely soaking wet. It is, it is insane. So I dabbed up most of the water using um, just a plain paper towel, and now I've got the paper towel like imprint. So I'm going to go through, and this is using my shimmers again. I'm darkening up my edges um, and making it kind of shadowed and whatnot um, again with the shimmer sapphire. And then I'm going to bring in a little bit more of the London blue and just go around some of the um, openings and try and get rid of that. Uh, imprint from the paper towels. That's all I'm trying to do here. Uh, and then of course, it just is a big old giant mess. I'm visiting with friends at the same time. <laughs> um, just trying to maintain the white in the center, especially up at the top. Um, down at the bottom, you won't really see it because that's where my photo is going to go. So I'm not too worried about that spot there. My leaf is still very, very wet. I mean, it was completely soaked. Uh, with all of that stuff. And what I do is I'm just dipping it in water, dipping it in my um, in my ink, and then getting it to go. Well, this is Heidi Swap Navy, and I decided to bring in just a little bit because my, my edges weren't as dark as I wanted them to be. I liked how dark they were, but not too dark. Well, then the navy turned it a little teal. Um, so I wasn't sure, but I'm going to go ahead and go with it anyways. Um, I also had to borrow this paintbrush from Sandy because <laughs> I the paintbrush that I brought was for a different project and it was a huge wide brush so I needed some help and I just loved loved this paintbrush I was so in love with it and she's like oh you can take it home uh, no I borrowed it there's no way I can take it from her because then she's gonna forget that she loaned it to me 
<laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to go through, um, and I, I was trying to spread out um, some of that uh, some of that navy just using water I didn't like it at all so this is Dina Wakely in white and I went ahead and I splattered it while it was still wet so I had blue splatters as opposed to white splatters so I really liked that now while that was drying I went ahead and I trimmed my photo down and I trimmed two mats using the um, the origami paper it is really super thin paper so I had to be very careful with my edge trimmer um, to make sure that it's um, you know doesn't gouge into the paper and then um, because I'm not working at my normal desk I forgot where my <laughs> ATG was this is the first layout that I created at retreat and I hadn't quite got my bearings in yet um, so I didn't really know where anything <laughs> was where did I put it where did I set it um, I always try to set up my desk the way that I have it at home but sometimes it doesn't end up it that never works <laughs> I don't know why um, because I actually I do know why I on my desk I have this little shelf that um, is attached to the front of my desk and so it's not directly on my desk and that's where most of my tools go and because I don't have that at retreat because it's not a removable shelf um, because I don't have that at retreat I, I tend to have more things on my desk than I normally do so anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know uh, what in the world is going on and why I keep pausing and whatnot. So I went ahead and I scrunched up because I made the, um, the, the mats for my photo a little bit too big. So I went ahead and I scrunched them up a little bit um, instead of trying to cut them because they're super thin, you guys. Um, and that worked out really well. All right, so my leaf is dry. So I'm going to take some of this Glacier Paste by Nuvo and just spread it across some of the leaves and um, mostly, actually almost all of it, but not quite to the ends of um, the tips of, the, of this leaf. Um, and I really like this effect. I would have never, ever thought to put this much mixed media on one single image. Absolutely not. But I love how it all looks and it all comes together once I get it all put on a layout. All right. And last thing I'm going to do is add some white splatters. I felt like um, my, uh, my polka dots were a little bit too square and to help them move along, um, I went ahead and I added some splatters. Now, one of the things that Jennifer also did is on her background, she had, uh, huge blobs of, um, ink drops. And what she did was she took an ink dropper, um, almost like an eyedropper and picked up the color and then splooshed it on so it made that paint splatter. So I'm just trying to recreate that using what I have um, because I'm, like I said, I'm not at home so I did not have my, um, my ink dropper. And of course, instead of using pink as my accent color, I'm actually using gold because it matched my metallic or my metal leaves a lot better. Um, these ring and things are uh, leftovers that I had from a previous project. And what I did was I glued them together so they were half rings or actually a quarter of a ring. I glued them together to uh, from wood, um, eighth inch wood. So they're rather thick. Uh, I glued them all together and then once they were dry, I wrapped them in a, in a pretty thick um, twine. Um, so they are, they are pretty thick, like three eighths of an inch is what I'm going to have to say. Uh, that they went to maybe no maybe not that thick now that I'm thinking about it maybe they're a quarter of an inch maybe um, but they are quite thick I have to double up my um, my foam here in order for my picture to lay on top of them all right so I am going to go ahead oh my gosh I love this octopi you guys from um, Stamparia it, it is just the coolest little set ever uh, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and audition all of these pieces and I'm not going to make you guys watch because this is a very long process already. I'm not going to make you guys watch uh, me glue all this down um, because it, it basically stays in the exact same spot. I work from the top and move down um, and, and, and put it together as a whole piece um, instead of removing everything and then trying to remember how it all goes. So here it is all glued together. I've got some elements glued to the page directly. Most of them are glued to the photo so they float off the page. I absolutely 
love how it looks, but I'm going to add a few more things. I have fussy cut apart all of those uh, blue flowers from 13 Arts. I love these. I could use about 16 more sheets of these because that is just the perfect little blue. Um, and, and these are my, this is the color that I like to work with if I'm doing florals and things is I really love um, this blue and even throw in a little bit of purple to it. Yes, I do. Um, it's just perfect. All right, so I'm using some liquid glue, but uh, I finally ran out, so I had to open up a brand new bottle. Yay! <laughs> when do you finally call it enough is enough with a brand new glue bottle? Uh, I'm stubborn. I will use it until it no longer comes out. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just using some liquid glue and they hold really well. That liquid glue is so awesome, you guys, not going to lie. And then here's where I'm going to double up all of my pieces for um, my mat, but I I don't really know exactly where to put them. So if I was to take it off and, and put them on, um, the, on the back side, I don't really know exactly um, where to put them. For some reason, the glue was not working uh, on my photos, so I had to hold it down a little bit longer than normal. Um, which is weird. I don't know if it was uh, the, the coating of the photo or whatnot. I do know that some of these photos, especially the overexposed and the darker ones, came from my mother-in-law. And instead of giving me a, um, a, a chip or a, a flash drive or anything like that, she has them printed and sent to me. It's a ton of pictures. Um, it, it's, it, it's awesome to have that. Um, but I the exposures are always off. I don't know where she gets them printed uh, or anything. And, um, you know, I just put them in my album as they are. It's, it's not a big deal. In all honesty, to me, it's not that big of a deal. So to finish off this layout, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of white splatter, as well as a little bit of gold splatter around all of my clusters. Uh, I'm going to fan it as if it's going to help dry. And uh, now I'm going to add the title to this layout. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am in love with how this layout turned out. Um, I mean, it, it doesn't look a thing like Jennifer's, but I really, really am glad that I tackled something like this because normally I would look at that and say, yeah, that's pretty, but there's no way, no way. So I am using a thicker set that was for a baby boy. Um, and I decided to use the word Hello Cutie and then add all of these hearts as my um, uh, sequins splatter, um, like what um, Jennifer used, but I'm just using the foam that came in my alpha step. And that's it for me. I had a blast recreating this. I also took my distress tool and distressed the leaves edges, um, which I thought really helped uh, pop it up off the page. So I only put glue right down the center of it. So there is my layout. I did not take any photos at the retreat because uh, as you could see, the lighting was a little bit off um, the entire time. So I waited until I got home to take all my pictures. Uh, and then that way you guys can kind of see in uh, real lifetime what uh, what they actually look like um, type of deal. But oh man, I am loving all these layers and whatnot. So Jennifer, thank you so much for allowing me to lift you. I had a blast. Be sure to check out the playlist down below for May I Scrap Lift You. And here are two more videos of May I Scrap Lift You for you guys to check out. Thanks so much and I'll check y'all later. Bye!